Hyperlink's SIPI BoardSim VX 2.4 now supports constraint integration. The menu can be found in Setup, Net Classes, and Constraints. This menu has the ability to create new net classes for simulation purposes. It can also read in a wide range of signal integrity constraints imported directly from Expedition. Note here we have a design with currently no net classes assigned. For this purpose, we will import them directly from the Constraint Manager inside of Expedition via a CSV file. The user also has the ability to import from a CSV file or spreadsheet. Simply check or uncheck the boxes in the GUI depending upon the method that you currently use today for your PCB constraint data. From this menu, you also have the ability to export the net classes, constraints, and stimuli if you so wish. This design is currently in progress and only some constraint classes are finalized in Expedition. Let's move over to Expedition and view the constraints for ourselves. For the DDR4 net classes, we have assigned some values for overshoot and also some minimum and maximum delays into these constraint classes. Let's go back to Hyperlink's board sim and then import the constraints from the constraint manager. Once the import has completed successfully, we can now view these net classes in the Edit Net Classes dialog as well, whereas before it was empty. When we're done viewing the net classes that we brought in, we can close this menu and scroll to the bottom of the main net classes window and look at the constraints and stimuli that came over as well. As we design this PCB, we can now use these constraints during our comprehensive batch signal integrity analysis. Hyperlinks VX 2.4 provides helpful mentor flow improvements and integration. Thanks for watching.